and welcome back to my channel. Through my channel, Busby Style, my goal and mission is to help women just like you who are juggling life look like you have your act together, even if you don't. Recently, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a packing video, specifically a packing video for Europe. I have done a packing video before. I will put a link to that video below, but this trip um, was for New York City. I think the principles are all gonna be pretty similar whether you're going to New York or Europe. You're gonna want to pack almost a mini capsule wardrobe. You're gonna wanna have clothes that all mix and match very seamlessly together because we don't have a lot of room to bring everything in our closet. So you wanna really make sure that you hone in on bringing key pieces that will mix and match. So my mini capsule wardrobe preference happens to be black as my color of choice. You may not like black and you may want to do your core base color of a gray or a white or some sort of beige or taupe. I think black is the simplest and I think it's the most slimming and I think it's the most chic. I am going to kind of go through all the things that you need to pack. I will put a printable packing list, say that five times fast, over on the website, busbystyle.com. So I'm not going to spend a ton of time talking about each piece or recommending specific pieces. I'm just gonna give you an overall list of what it is you need to bring and briefly talk about why. So in your mini capsule wardrobe, I would have a black long sleeve tee, a black short sleeve tee, black leggings or black skinny jeans. I would do a black blazer. For me, I would definitely bring my Veronica Beard black blazer. It's really chic and nice. It's great quality. Also, a black dress is important. I would plan on one black cashmere sweater like a crew neck or a v-neck. And then I would do one trench that's lined, whether that's black or tan. Uh, is up to you, whatever you have in your closet. If you have those base pieces all in black, you've got a lot of options already. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in color, bring in excitement with your accessories. And that's how you're gonna modify and change the way things look. On top of that, I would do probably a day dress, a maxi dress, and both of those can be some color or something a little bit different. And then I would do two to four colorful tops. So maybe you do two solid short sleeves or two printed long sleeves or however you want that combination to look. In addition to the black leggings or black skinny jeans, I would also bring a regular pair of blue jeans. You may want a skirt if you're a skirt person, but again, I, I already suggested three dresses, so you don't necessarily need the skirt. If you see that the temperatures are gonna be warm, I would do one pair of shorts that are chic but comfortable. And you can do one other pair of pants, maybe a black pair of pants, maybe a tan pair of pants, whatever uh, you have in your wardrobe that you think you would like to wear. The extras would be pajamas. You need a set of pajamas. You need one set of exercise clothes at least. And then of course you're gonna have a swimsuit. I would do one swimsuit and one cover up just in case you know, some of the hotels where you're staying have swimming pools. In terms of undergarments, I would bring a black comfortable t-shirt bra. I would bring a nude comfortable t-shirt bra and one strapless bra or pasties, if you can get away with that. Not everybody can. And also I would do one sports bra. For underwear, you're going to want to pack in a very similar fashion. So you're gonna to wanna to do two or three nude pairs, two or three black pairs. I would make sure that you've got some in there that are no show panties. In other words, you're not gonna see them through your pants or your jeans or your leggings. You're not gonna see the panty lines. I did wanna mention socks really briefly. I think with your socks, you should bring at least one really warm pair, like your ski socks or your wool blend socks. And then I would do you know, a couple pairs of exercise socks like PEDS. Maybe you want one pair of no show socks to wear with ballet flats and then some socks that you can wear with your ankle booties, whether that's a ped or just like a little tiny crew sock uh, is up to you. Bring the socks that are appropriate for the shoes that you bring. So now let's talk about shoes. 
shoes are a very tricky part of the packing process. When you are going to be sightseeing and touring around different cities, you need to have comfortable shoes. Do not make the rookie mistake of buying new shoes and then thinking you're, you're going to break them in on your trip. Make sure that you have shoes that are chic and comfortable, that you've already worn plenty and you know are really, really, really and truly supportive and comfortable. You need to have one pair of running shoes, really supportive, really comfortable. New Balance is always a slam dunk. I would also bring one pair of sneakers that aren't traditional running shoes. That could be a pair of Keds, that could be a pair of Sperry's, that could be a pair of Tom's, that could be a pair of Uggs. I would bring one pair of sandals. Again, you wanna make sure those sandals are very comfortable. You've worn them, you've broken them in. And I would bring a neutral color sandal. I would bring either a metallic or a black. I would do one pair of flats with closed toe, whether that's a pointed toe ballet flat or a rounded toe ballet flat or a moccasin. I found a really cute pair of moccasins from M. Jemmy, which I'll put a link to below. I would do two pairs of ankle boots. I would do one dressy pair of ankle boot and one more casual pair of ankle boots that are really great to walk in. So you have the ankle boot option during the day if you're not going crazy. And then you have the dressy ankle boot option for evening, for dinners out, for whatever fancy schmancy things you guys are gonna do. Okay, now let's let's tackle accessories. So what I would do is bring two scarves. I'd bring one that's warm, like a wool blend scarf. Could be infinity, could be wrap. And I would bring one silky scarf in a bold color or bold print. I would do two necklaces, one that's shorter, more collar length, and then one pendant necklace. Uh, just to have the option and the functionality of both lengths, and then you could obviously layer the two together. I would do two pairs of earrings, one everyday earring and one statement earring, and then you have the option of the statement earring for more fancy things. I would do a reversible belt for sure. I have this one that is black on one side and brown on the other. That's what I would bring. And then you're going to need two handbags. You're gonna need one large one for the plane. For me, I would do the, the Jet Setter backpack, you know, the one with the backpack functionality that also turns into a tote. And that would be what I would carry on the plane. And when I had a lot of stuff that I needed to carry around throughout the day. So you gotta have one large bag and then I would bring one small crossbody bag and put like your passport in and all your um, credit cards or whatever you're bringing. All right, let's talk about toiletries. I did do a blog very recently on a perfect skincare travel kit. It's just so much easier than lugging around a bunch of huge uh, full-size skincare bottles. I now have stockpiled a lot of travel size makeup too. So I have little tiny mascaras and um, little tiny lipsticks and I bring those with me and perfume samples. I bring those with me on trips so that I'm not, again, carrying those full size cosmetics. You can bring an all in one palette. Charlotte Tilbury makes an awesome one. I would also bring a first aid kit. In your first aid kit, I would think about having some sort of pain reliever like Advil or Tylenol. I would do Band-Aids, Neosporin, little tiny scissors, Imodium in case food poisoning happens, and then just some antiseptic wipes. In your toiletry kit, I would also do hand sanitizer. I would do lip balm for sure, sunscreen, don't forget your sunscreen. A stain remover pen might be a good idea just in case. And then copies of your passport just in case something happens, heaven forbid. On the technology side, I would do one of those lipstick size chargers just to have on the plane in case your battery's running low. I would make sure you download your books before you go. Maybe you wanna do magazines. There's a really cool app called Texture where you can download a bunch of magazines for a monthly subscription. Uh, you want noise canceling headphones for sure. I mean, the earbuds don't quite cut it on the airplane. And a power adapter so when you get there, make sure you, know, you can plug everything in. I would get the international power adapter that will work for a lot of different countries. Sleep mask is good, earplugs are good, and maybe a water bottle. You might want that for the plane and also for while you're, you're out sightseeing that you can refill. A couple of quick notes about packing. You know, rolling is always a great technique when you want to save space in your suitcase. Another 
thing that I like to use are the vacuum seal bags. Don't get the ones that actually require a vacuum cleaner, just get the ones that you can roll the air out of so that they can reseal and you can vacuum pack on the way back. <laughs> and then also packing cubes are wonderful at keeping things organized and also helping you pack more in a smaller amount of space. There's a lot going on there. Sounds like a huge amount of stuff, but you should be able to fit all that, I think, in one small bag and one medium-sized bag without too much trouble. If you have any questions, as always, just comment below. I'm gonna put recommendations to things below in the description box. I'll put a link to my previous video that I did on the mini capsule wardrobe below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Of course, the blog too. I'm gonna have that printable packing list for you guys. While you're there, you may wanna to subscribe to the newsletter so you get the wardrobe basics checklist. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.